pastoring wise, I love the whole idea of looking at where we are and just with those eyes, um, you get an opportunity to say, God, you've made me a certain way. You give me a certain way of looking at things and to look into a setting, look at a place and look at the people of God and say, I see more here. I see more that you want to do here. I see more that you want to do in their lives. So I love going into areas where we just work together, strategize together, dream together about how we're going to make the gospel, the fame of Jesus Christ's name known throughout this entire area. And everyone can be involved in that. And that's the most exciting thing is to sit down with someone and say, can I show you how you can know that you have eternal life? Can I show you how you can have a relationship with God through Jesus Christ and have them say, yes, I would like to know that. Uh, we're gonna have to move close. Um, we're gonna have to spend time. We're gonna have to open up our hearts. And uh, that's what we love doing. That's what we love being. And we've experienced it. So I'm not saying in theory, I'm saying my life personally, our marriage, our family, uh, if you see Jesus Christ and what we are and who we are and what we have as a family, that's because of what Jesus has already done in us. I grew up in an era, pastor-wise, where they called it ecclesiastical distance. It was, you were safer as a pastor if you didn't get close to your people. That I could not, uh, I could not just, you know, discard that quick enough. That to me is you've got to be close to people so they will share with you where they are. You can share with, with them the walk that Jesus Christ has brought you to. My journal is basically Father God, and it's much more, um, I'm telling him about everything, not just the facts of the day, here's what happened. Uh, and since I'm crawling up into his lap or nuzzling in that way or that setting where he's like, I wanna know what's going on. I wanna know what you're feeling. I wanna know what you're expressing. He already knows but he loves the time. And actually I found out I need that. I need the moment, the closeness, the love, because I won't have love for others. I won't have love for my wife, for my daughter. Real love if I'm not being resourced by, by his love. The more that we love him, the more that I love him, the more I feel compelled to trust him. And I think that's First John. Perfect love casts out fear. If you're if you have fear, your love isn't perfect toward him. But if you have a uh, sense of faith and fearlessness, it's because you love him, because you trust him. And I think it's Bruce Wilkinson who says, you're not going to trust him deeply unless you know deeply of his love.